So in this series of uh, Unity lessons, we're going to try a few features we haven't tried before and start bringing in objects that are created from Maya and um, using those in our, uh, our games. And these skills will allow us to create a much more realistic uh, 3D video world and make our games that much better. Okay, so um, let's do something right off the bat. So I have moved, if you look up here, I have moved my lighting here. I've also created my animation window there. So what I did is I just came up here to a window, and let's just do the lighting. Okay, now I've already moved my lighting. I'm going to move it back. Yours will probably come up in here or somewhere around here. So when you go window, lighting, it's going gonna, it's gonna to open it up. So I just find this right here, left click on it, and drag it, and drop it. So now it's here. I want it there, so we're going to do some stuff with it in a minute. Okay, I did the same thing for the animator. You don't need to do that right now, but I did. Same thing, open it up and I drag my animator there, okay? Now, I've imported two um, environmental packages. Um, I don't want to do that in the video because it's going to take too much time. So, assets, import new package. You're going to go ahead and get the environment package and import them all, and then you're going to do a custom package, and I'm going to have that up on Google Classroom. So, importing the environment and the custom package, which will be the tutorial package, so there's my standard assets, which is my environment, and there's my tutorial package, okay? All right, so we should have that done. Move the lighting, get both those packages in. We're going to create, a, we, this is a 3D um, project, so you should have created a new project. Make sure it's 3D, and let's go to terrain, okay? And we can always come here and um, click on uh, F, and that'll highlight our terrain. Well, my terrain has a color on it, and I'll go ahead and show you why that is in a couple minutes. Your terrain is going to be white. Okay, so um, now we can also dolly around. This is the dolly um, um, feature right here, right here to the very left. We've been using this one to move, but this one just lets us dolly around without changing any of the uh, positions of the... Uh, object. So let's zoom in. Um, Mac, right click, and uh, option. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some stuff we've already done before. First of all, my terrain is 500 by 500. Um, size right there. Okay. And I'm going to put some mountains on it now. So that's, let's just do the setting there. And there's no right or wrong on this. Just, you know, get yourself some mountains. In any format you want. Yeah, maybe one more. Leave yourself some space over here because we're going to fill that space with something. Okay. So we created some mountains. Let's get a, 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 a texture on there. So um, we're clicking here. We're going to go get our textures. I'm just going to choose the one that comes from the environment. Choose any one you want. So we got here. Uh, I like this one. Sand. You can even type the name up here if you want. Sand. It'll come up and add. Okay. Now with my directional light, if you want to uh, see what it'd be like without that directional light, my directional light's set pretty good. If you if yours isn't, you can delete this light and then go to a game object and light and create another one. But I sort of like where mine is, so I'm going to leave it there. I could turn it off right up here, very right. See that check mark? That's off. That's what it looked like with no light. Okay. 
Now, you're looking at my life figuring, what the heck? How come mine's so dark? Or how come mine has a hue to it? So let's click on this light. And let's go here to lighting. Okay? So now I'm in the lighting. Um, got my directional light. Now I could change it. But, you know, I've already put directional light in, so I'm not going to. But this is what I did. So um, I went to my blue hues, which are here. And you can see I changed it. So we can do fool around this quite a bit. I mean, you could go to red, like a Mars look to it, yeah, like that. Um, light blue, light green. Um, you know, make it sort of hot here. Yeah, come across like that. So would it do whatever you want? Um, again, we're just clicking right here in the color. I'm gonna go back to blue. I sort of like that blue. Maybe in there and sort of lighten it up a little bit. It's a little blue hue there, maybe. Okay. So you can fool around with that. So that way it gives you more control over your um, um, colors. You can change the intensity. Wow, look at that. So, you know, you can uh, sort of bounce the intensity a little bit. Wow, that looks pretty cool. So there's a bunch of things you can do to fool around with this. I'll sort of leave it like that. So it gives you a chance to have a lot more color, a lot more um, um, a bit of craziness inside your thing, if you will, there. So let's play this. Wow, not bad. OK. All right. So now we're going to bring a building in. So we're going to go to our assets, tutorial assets, which you have downloaded. Tutorial assets, and you're going to go to um, uh, abandon. Maybe I better do that again. Um, abandon right here, and there's our building. Um, this is created in 3D Studio Max. Um, there's a website, um, TDFM, I think it is, where we can go get some of these that are free, or we'll start creating our own in Maya and bring it in. But you can also find any 3D object you want to bring it in. We're going to bring it right there. And as we can see, it's huge. We don't want it to be huge. So we're going to come up here. Uh, it's highlighted. And we're going to go up here to the inspector. On the very right inspector. Let's scale it. I'm going to do like 0.4. I think 0.4 will work. All depends on how big your terrain is. Mine being the 500 by 500, 0.4 looks pretty good. Okay. And I'm going to highlight it here and hit F. I'm highlighted in it. I'm going to zoom in on it. Dolly around a little bit. And I need to make sure it's on the ground and not sitting on anything. Maybe like right there. A little bit out. And then put it down. Like right there. Okay. So that's our building. And let's see what our camera shows us. That's not bad. Right there. Okay, so now we're going to go to the building. You can rename this if you want, right up here. Let's name it building. Okay, so let's click on that arrow. And let's click here. Okay. So it doesn't matter where you click. I click this one because it highlights quite a few of um, the things that are going on with it. So um, in this case, we're going to do a little fooling around with this, too. So I've highlighted this. I'm in my inspector. And I'm going to go here to the material. OK? And I can fool around with some of this. Now, these are just basically, I think it's just like sort of like some bump maps, some diffuse maps, nothing too much fancy. But look what I can do. I can change the color of it. I can change the smoothness. So you can see that color and smoothness changing. Let's go to something else here. Let's click. Right here. OK, there we go. So again, down here to the material. And let me change. See that? See those change? Hotter. And then darker, smoothness the same way. 
So I can really fool around with that. And let's zoom in a little bit more. So you can see those objects change quite a bit as I start to uh, change the metallic um, properties of it and also the smoothness. So we can fool around that quite a bit to get the way you like it. Um, you could change some of the maps stuff on there, but I'm not going to because these are just some basic maps. You could even fool around with the color some. So here we go, changing the color scheme also, which is right here. So I want you to go ahead and fool around um, with the um, building itself, clicking on the building and the inspector, and then um, let's close that, going to the um, directional light and fool around with that to get the scene the way you like it. So what does our camera show us? Not bad. So um, experiment. Try different color combinations and um, different smoothness to get your scene the way you like it in the building too. And let me know if you have any props.